Hey, what's up, everybody? It's time for a nice and close up view. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. So it was a busy weekend this past weekend for me. We got, uh, as you can tell, because of Groundbreaker, he's all painted and ready to go. I got to do, I got to seal this board off and I got to do a final seal over him so he's, you know, good and watertight. But for the most part, he's done. Uh, I did film some of the painting, a little bit of painting, and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. Uh, some of it the battery ran out on. I got footage of what I got. I'm sorry, it sucks if you guys want to see more, but we got a little bit of it anyway. So, uh, I'll show that to you here in just a second. But uh, after that, I'll give you a, a little closer up view of this groundbreaker that I got all finished up for you guys. And then uh, a little bit of uh, some announcements after that on... Uh, yeah. Then after that, we got a few announcements for uh, Unhinged Props. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at this uh, exciting segment of painting. So here we go, Groundbreaker's all done. We'll get a little bit uh, closer up view of this thing. There's some yellow highlights in there. You know, trying to give something out a little more texture to this and make some things pop, make it look like rotted decay. Uh, got some areas where you can see the bone sticking through. Yeehaw, how about that? There's a big section on the back of his head. I like that shit. And then these, man, I tell you what, that rib cage, I was happy with that. That thing turned out sweet. And I think I'm going to start doing a lot more like that. I mean, that was a pain in the ass. But as for the way this thing looks, oh, dude, it's awesome. Let's see if I can get a view of the back here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, no, he turned out pretty good. I was very happy with him. I'm happy with this rib cage. I'm happy we don't leave it exposed. And uh, it just turned out sweet. Most of all, what I'm happy about is that's no freaking Bucky skeleton under there. That's all made out of my preferred medium, paper mache. And dude, it don't get no sweeter than that, <laughs> in my opinion. So that's it. Uh, this breaker's all done. He's ready for Halloween. I'm excited to have him out there. Um, <laughs> if you guys, were, honestly, if you guys, when, if I, when I do some of these projects, you, know, you want to see more of the high-speed junk on um, painting these things or whatever, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you want to see that crap. If you don't want to see it, let me know that too, and I won't waste my time filming it. It's much easier just to paint this stuff than it is to put it in front of a camera and try to film it all. Let me know. If that's what you want to see, and I'll, I'll 
just continue on doing it. Anyway, update for VIP hunters. You guys out there, the second step of building a groundbreaker is now up and live on the website, so go check it out. Um, that step initially was going to be from the base skinning all the way through to the final detail out on the skinning. Um, there was so much information in that that I had to cut that tutorial in half. So it's going to be two tutorials. So the second one's up live, and then what we're going to call part three will be up in a few days. I've still got to edit all of that uh, information and put it in a, a nice neat little video for you guys and have it up. And then after that we'll go over paint in detail. So all that stuff's coming for all you guys out there on VIP. You'll be able to build yourself a groundbreaker and uh, have it ready for Halloween. So we're working on that. Go check out step two right now. Step three is coming very, very soon. Also, uh, <laughs> since I'm so happy with that rib cage and the way it turned out, I do believe I am going to do a full-on tutorial for the VIPs at Unhinged Props on how to make a rib cage and spine like that completely out of uh, paper mache and nothing else so you can go crazy and make all your own stuff it does take time it's it it's very time oriented man but as you can see the end results are sweet so i think if you're if you enjoy mache and that's the type of thing you want to do it's worth the time to do it i mean like it said something from nothing and that thing right there literally was out of nothing it was all just newspaper and, and crap and then scrap pvc like you guys saw for uh, putting the arm sections together and stuff so if you're into that and you like uh really get some fulfillment and enjoyment out of making something that no one else has got or just making something out of just junk we're going to put one together for these uh for these rib cages and spines and then i'll show you exactly how i did it and the mistakes I made along the way of that one that I did, and we'll correct all those mistakes, and that'll all be in that in that uh, video as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. There's more stuff like this to come. And if you're new to my channel, uh, this is all it's really about is Halloween prop building and making things from uh, paper mache and little tidbits here and there. Um, well, I'll do a variety of different things. It all won't be prop work. Uh, some of it will be just some other fun stuff. But if you like it and you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys are truly into finding some cool detail on true tutorials and how to build stuff like that, go over to Unhinged Props. Check it out. You can sign up for Basic Member for free. You can get some access to some things. Look around. And then if you want to get access to these tutorials, subscribe as a VIP. You know, you can do it for a month for $5. If you don't like it, unsubscribe i don't care test the waters you're not going to hurt my feelings but at least go check it out and also for everybody over there one thing i am going to mention to you guys especially even for those basic members i'm going to start doing some content kind of like this uh but it'll have a little more detail and it will all be mache related that you will only be able to see over at unhinged props and i'll put that content will go up on the brew page so there are going to be particular videos for everybody to see whether you're free or whether you're vip and it's only going to be over there on that site it won't be here so just for you guys to know it'll be out there we'll still have plenty of youtube videos but there'll be some content over there as well just for all you guys anyway i'll see you guys next time gotta come up with something else to build i've got the uh, few other things around here uh mary fittner gave me a pretty good idea on some voodoo stuff so i need to look some of that up and see what i can come up with too um i'll see you guys probably three or four days and we'll have another project on the way so have a good one and keep making something from nothing oh yeah sk if you're watching that last vlog dude that was kick-ass what you what you want what you what you want